Old Look school. at his mom wrote his name on it. It says lip sits in there. Of course, I had to go to summer camp. I couldn't lose my hoodie. Summer camp? Don't want your friends stealing your hoodie at college? Damn. It's happening. It's happening. What up, crew? What up, what up, what up? Welcome to downtown Los Angeles, friends, family. Everybody's here. We got Groovy's in the house. He hasn't been on the video for a minute. Been a few weeks, Sans, the homie. Nice to see you. Welcome Good to home. be back. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. It's me, Kid Lips. You know me. Uh, we are here today to talk about hoodies. There's a lot of hoodies in the world. A lot of people wear them. Hoodie season is upon us. And when you are building or starting a brand and you wanna offer a hoodie, you really gotta think about how to step it up, how to do something that's a little bit different. There's a lot of ways people embellish hoodies, a lot of ways that you can do it, but the majority that you're gonna start with or you're gonna see options for when you're customizing a hoodie are relatively basic, right? Print, embroidery, you know, what can you really do? We actually started a pleek with the hoodie in mind. The hoodie was the first product I ever started making for friends in college because it's a canvas. It has so much surface area to play with, so many areas that you can embellish and customize. And it was always, always about fabric embellishment, right? So how can we actually take textiles and patterns and apply them to a hoodie in a creative way that elevates the basic to something magical, something like a masterpiece? And, and so now we offer that for brands and we wanted to show you the evolution of how that came to be and what you can do with a custom hoodie that goes far beyond the basic. First product you ever made. Yeah. So basically, I don't know if you've heard the story already, but this Karate Kid headband, you know, that Mr. Miyagi style. The, the sweet flower power. Um, this I was given by a friend and we wore matching Karate Kid headbands to a Halloween-esque party. It's like Halloween While attending up. University of Pennsylvania in, in the dearest of dear Philadelphia. That's right, West Philly. West Philly. And I wore the thing, I wore the headband, I thought this was such a dope pattern. Like it's really cool, it really pops, it stands out. And I wanted to wear it all the time, but I felt weird having a headband around my head all the time. Now he's got a bandana. So I had this blue, I had, yeah right now I just rock this, whatever. So I had this blue hoodie and I'm like, okay, I have an idea. I'm gonna stitch this headband it's on the hoodie. It's a total blank hoodie. Yeah. It's just a rough, a rough old Look it, his mom wrote his name on it. It says lip sits in there. Of course, I had to go to summer camp. I couldn't lose my hoodie. Summer camp? Don't want your friends stealing your hoodie at college? And so I got, I got a needle and thread and literally like hand stitched this thing. I mean, it's like janky, hand <laughs> stitched. Like I have to say, I'm super happy you don't do oblique sewing yeah, right now. Yeah, this we was like upgraded our days. <laughs> but I got it. But I also, what's crazy is like I, I did this in like 2005, maybe 2004, and like 2016 now. It's 2016 now. So it's held up 12 years. Washed it plenty of times. In fact, danced. I was in Sydney. In uh, sorry, in Barcelona, and I was dancing under the Cade Fox, which are these like crazy fireworks that they have <laughs> that you hold on sticks and then they like f blow all over you. And I got a sweet fire burn. Um, anyway, so yeah, so this was the beginning of realizing this hood could be a canvas, right? Your hoodie actually has so much surface area and so much space that you can apply fabric to and do creative things. Yeah, the next example. Let's get into the next one. Yes. Yeah, this so. is the first hoodie I ever made on a pleek. I wasn't even working for a pleek when I made it. Uh, my sister Emily was like, dude, we're doing this hoodie thing. You should check it out. Sure. But a bing, but a boom. Made yeah. this hoodie. I chose this green and white fabric at that point. All, the only way you could design on a pleat was choosing an existing textile, an existing fabric that Ethan or Emily had sourced from downtown Los Angeles. Um, and you could kind of pick and choose a couple different areas on the garment where the textile went. Um, we still have an experience kind of similar to that on the website. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I, I picked this white and green fabric now since sold out. Yeah, this it's, is a herringbone, and it's actually a really nice, like soft wool, kind of poly wool. Heavy. So it's heavier weight and it's nice on the so on the skin so we were getting some of these for the hood linings because they're super comfy and they give you extra warmth it's like wearing a beanie as your hoodie yeah um, and yeah this pattern's a classic this kind of zigzag herring bone I probably got this in 2008 or 2009 maybe yeah it's an early one for sure so i mean the hoodie the black is definitely faded a little bit through probably a couple hundred washes but the the textile is pretty bright it's pretty rad
So as we said, this is kind of V1, the the headband, mm -hmm. the headband strip. For this, sure. This V2. And one of the things that we've just always been really about is talking to customers, listening to customers, what they have to say. And at one point in a pleek, I think the number one request was like, how do I put my artwork where the fabric is? Like, I like those fabrics you guys have. Those are cool. That's an awesome print. But like, how do I get in on the action? How do I get in on the fun? Make my own I, pattern. I'm a designer. I have patterns I've made, or I have artwork, or I have an idea, and I want to put it in there. Starting last year, we let people start creating their own fabrics and using those fabrics um, where we traditionally used pre-made or pre-existing textiles. Right. And so that's really led us to the V3 hoodie. And we think it's uh, it's a great place for brands to get started totally. with uh, creating ultra premium hoodies. Just a really amazing standout piece. Great way to show off your artwork. And so what's pretty exciting is we're releasing this offer where you can actually put your pattern, whatever you want, into the lining of the inside of a hoodie. We'll stitch it up for you and it'll just blast magnificence all over your hoodie, right? It'll just be a whole new game and a, a new way of expressing yourself. Bada bam 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 bam! Yeah! Woo -woo. Check it out! So here we have the custom hood lining. This is fabric that has been designed on the on the computer, on the internet. A graphic design that gets uploaded to the website, printed. We, you know, once the hoodie's purchased, we actually print this fabric with a process called sublimation, and then we stitch it on just like the other uh, herringbone fabric. But in this case, it is your design, peacocking, You're right? Peacocking right now. So you could put your family photos, your brand imagery, your step and repeat, your banners, some cool photo you took. Maybe a really sweet graphic design you've been working on. You want to create a tessellation or a pattern, whatever it is, it goes right here. It's pretty sweet. Boom. So this is the evolution of the custom hoodie. It's pretty exciting. And additionally, you can get these done relatively affordably when you start to buy quantity. So order 100, 50, 200 of these pieces, and the price can go down to uh, like between 30 and 40 per hoodie, um, which is pretty good for custom fabric lining on your hood. And it's a premium product. And if you want to add your branding to it, just take your label, right? You're already a part of our brand's community. So when you have labels, you just stitch them on. You know, it's super simple. And that's a really great way to handle the branding. You don't have to embroider it or print it or anything else, right? You could even do a small little embroidery there too, but totally. once you have woven labels, super, super Easy. cost effective. Yeah. Way to you know, keep your eye on the bottom line with that. There it is. The future is now. Pretty excited to offer this product. Pretty excited to hear what you guys think about it. Oops. How do you want to customize your hoodies? Post it in the comments. I know there's a lot of people that rock hoodies. It's hoodie season. How do you want to see your, your designs on it, your artwork? Yeah, definitely open to getting some ideas from y'all. Sure. If you guys have artwork that you want to share, share it. Put it in the comments box below. Send oh, us yeah. a link to it. Absolutely. We'd love to check it out, see what you guys are thinking. Thank you so much for joining us. We're excited to give you guys new ways to create hoodies. Absolutely. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with. As per usual, please subscribe, spread the word. Yeah, we want to hear from you. Thank you. And it uh, sounds like our helicopter is coming in, so we got a we got a jet. But adios.